Hello friends and a very warm welcome to all of you. I'm Dr. Mukh Mohit Singh and this is webinar series with me. This is a community medicine open learning platform. So in the past few weeks or months, due to COVID-19 pandemic response, we all had been busy with our duties and we had been performing our duties to the best of capacities and capabilities. In past few weeks or months, I had seen a kind of a social disconnect between the student and the faculty the government of India machinery, the health and family welfare ministry had been going on at its own pace, of course, at a slower pace because more focus was on COVID-19 pandemic response. But still, the national family planning program, the polio surveillance program, the vector borne disease control program, dengue cases, malaria cases, they had been coming on and on and off. So this webinar series is technically to catch up with those programs once again and to give you the updates in community medicine as always. So without wasting much of time, let's start with the first webinar and we are going to talk about the National Family Planning Program today. So now if we look at this National Family Planning Program update, what happened was in November 2019, there was a small update given by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, which is being carried on till now. So let us see some salient features and to this total, there are 14 points out of which three points you need to remember. Before I start on with those three points, let us have a look at some of the basic things which you might be requiring for your MCQ exams. When do we have the World Population Day? World Population Day is on 11th of July every year. And this year, 2020, the theme was how to safeguard the health and rights of females and girl children now. This was a UNDP mandate. It was a United Nations Development Project uh, mandate or the theme. And if we talk about the Indian context, the Indian context was safeguarding sexual and reproductive health needs and vulnerabilities of women and children. So if you talk about the Indian context, we have this kind of a improvised definition, but otherwise the theme was to safeguard the health and rights of women and girl children across the globe. Coming to the National Family Planning Program, there are 14 point updates I've already told out of which these three points are the prospective MCQs for us. First is the government of India had started a 360 media campaign. What do you mean by that? Nothing very special, no rocket science. It just means there will be involvement of TV, radio, social media, Facebook, Instagram, Doordarshan, All India Radio, each and print material, print media as well. So all types of medias will be taken under this a holistic 360 media campaign. So that means more funding, more awareness and more uh, kind of uh, media campaigns. Next is World Population Day. We already talked on 11th of July and fortnight, which is along with this World Population Day and a vasectomy fortnight. When do we have a vasectomy fortnight? It is from 21st of November till 4th of December. From 21st of November till 4th of December, we have the vasectomy fortnight. Alongside, please remember some of the IEC activities. This is particularly important for the UG students who are preparing for the prof exams or even for the MDPSM students. This can be a typical MCQ for you that uh, what about the information, education and communication campaigns? The promotional campaign is SAS Bahu Sammelan. SAS is a mother-in-law, Bahu is a daughter-in-law. So they want them to interact with, with themselves more so that they know about what are the demands and expectations from a family what sort of family does the daughter-in-law or the mother-in-law prefer and they can come to a common platform where they can talk so it is just promoting more more interaction between the within the families and then there's a new thing that is nai pahel kit nai means new pahel means for the first time so what is this nai pahel kit if you look at this nai pahel kit you can see that in this there is a jute bag which is being given a jute bag is being given which contains some of the commodities you don't need to actually remember what all commodities are there there are birth control pills there are condoms a mirror two towels handkerchiefs and so on and so forth these are primarily for the newlyweds it was started by the government of uttar pradesh so in the state of uttar pradesh we had this launch of the nai pehel kits which contain some of the um, uh, commodities for the um, essentially for the newlywed couples and that kit is called as a nai pehel kit so that's a small update for you then is publicity vans which are called as sarthi vans 
this can again be a very good viva question or it can be an mcq as well what are the sarthi vans sarthi vans are mobile publicity vans these are to promote or en enhance the the unmet needs of family planning next is advocacy meetings are undertaken to increase the awareness in high fertility districts mission parivar districts what is this mission parivar vikas mission parivar vikas if you see that mission parivar vikas it's it's a venture by the ministry of health and family welfare ministry of health and family welfare we have this mission parivar vikas there are same things nay pehel kit was launched under mission parivar vikas saas bahu sammelan is promoted under mission parivar vikas sarthi is promoted under vikas mission parivar vikas but the main objective of this video session and i think which is of interest to you is newer contraceptives are made available at the sub center level so earlier we had uh, read about antras and so many things but now all the newer contraceptives are in the basket at the sub center level this is what you need to remember this was uh, this was under a official memo uh, given to the uh, to all the districts and states program officer by the ministry of health and family welfare in november 2019 so we have talked about the mission parivar vikas let us talk about newer contraceptive choices you can see over here in this diagram all the contraceptives you can see over here these are injectable antras we are giving under the ministry of health and family welfare we are giving injectable antras we are also giving the mala and tablets which are the oral contraceptive pills then you can see is very important this is the chaya tablet this is a potential mcq you need to remember about chaya what is chaya chaya is nothing but a new name for saheli saheli is what it is it, uh, the new name is there that is chaya c w h a y a and chaya contains scent chroman the chemical that it contains is or meloxifen what is the mechanism of action of scent chroman it is a selective estrogen receptor modulator then we have as easy pill just a very quick recap what is easy pill again a potential mcq easy pill is nothing but emergency contraception easy pill is emergency contraception what is the constituent in easy pill it is 1.5 mg of levonorgestrel easy pill is post coital pill given in the morning within 72 hours of unprotected intercourse 1.5 mg single tablet levonorgestrel next is iucd and ppiucd what is this ppiucd ppiucd is post partum iucd post partum intra uterine copper device insertion so iucd you all know that it has to be inserted within 10 days of the start of the menstruation cycle or the periods and ppiucd is within 24 hours of the delivery so it is early post partum immediate post partum that has been taken care uh, even at the sub center level or even at the places where the anms or the or the people are being uh, uh, trained for inserting the intra uterine device next is nirodh condoms as always they have been uh, the mainstay of this national family planning program apart from that female sterilization methods that is tubectomy or the mini lap procedures and male sterilization using the non scalpel vasectomy technique i would also like to bring to your attention the logo over here if you can see the logo the logo is a a, a husband is there a wife probably a female and a wife is there and then they are carrying one child can you see that they are carrying one child so basically the government is somewhere uh, promoting a single child norm but anyways current tfr the tfr that we require in our nation should be less than 2.1 and currently we are hovering around 2.2 something short of 2.2 next is uh, this uh, slogan that is jodi zimmedar jo palan kare parivar please remember this is not Uh, the theme of this logo this is not the name of this logo this is just a slogan which is attached with this so don't lay stress on this it's nothing that you will get an mcq what is the logo right so just remember the logo the image you need to remember but the slogan you don't need actually to remember that next is one of the um, uh, injectables that you already know that is antra we also talked on that antra is a medroxy progesterone acetate given at the rate of 150 mg given in 3 monthly injections 150 mg given as 3 monthly im im injections is what is this sorry is what is this antra antra injectables 
and the next one is chaya we already talked on this scent crow man scent crow man chaya is scent crow man tablets which is given as weekly pills so in the initial first three months this pill is given twice weekly and then in the subsequent three months it is given as after three months not subsequent three months after three months it is given as weekly pill so because it is given as weekly pill that is the reason that low compliance sometimes is a problem and it may lead to a high failure rate actually it is a selective estrogen receptor modulator so uh, uh, chaya is a selective estrogen receptor modulator serum and it technically does not have a very high failure rate but because of the low compliance there might be higher failure rates and it is given as twice weekly in the first three months and then weekly in the next three months so these were some of the newer contraceptives you need to remember for your mcq exam so now moving forward if you talk about uh, the next points that is after learning about the newer contraceptive we also have uh, designed the postpartum intrauterine which is now available at all the subcenters we have already talked on that so people who are trained in doing the ppi ucd they can even do it at the subcenter level next we have is the redesigning of the contraceptive packages why do you think the government of india is keeping on redesigning it just creates that uh, sense of publicity because uh, the health workers will have something better to say the people will have something new to learn and they will have something new to listen so that creates that uh, aura of uh, positiveness where people start accepting or people at least start trying newer methods of contraception so you can see that this is the previous uh, mala n you can see on the the other side of the uh, screen this is the previous mala n this is the newer kind of mala n with the name asha attached can you see the name asha so a a s h a double a s h a this is a brand name of the government of india contraception but now all the contraception will be given under this new brand name that is asha tablets then we have the previous easy pill or the glevon or just all and now we have the easy pill which is with a new packaging called as asha and then you have the chaya which is our old chaya now we have a new chaya which is with the brand name of double a s h a so this is just a redesigning of the contraceptive please remember easy pill and uh, mala n and chaya tablets and uh, the ppi ucd is something which is newer in the basket of mission parivar because government of india health and family welfare so now uh, coming to some other points let me just uh, cruise through these smaller points no rocket science in this no major brainstorming in this it is very simple you already know all these points so let us just have one one word about them first is compensation scheme for sterilization acceptors what do you mean by sterilization acceptors that means people who get tubectomy done or people who get the vasectomy done for them we have a compensation scheme what compensation we actually have a wage compensation i think you all know under e esi scheme under the uh, central government of health uh, services scheme cghs scheme already the people who take up uh, vasectomy or tubectomy they are being compensated but right now at uh, there is a minimum amount which is fixed depending on state to state uh, different uh, policies and minimum wage compensation is given to tubectomy and vasectomy acceptors apart from that clinical outreach team that is the cot scheme this has been started it is nothing very special health workers will be going to field areas enm females enm workers will be going to field areas and in some areas doctors may go and they actually promote family planning uptake and uh, take care of the minimum uh, needs or the unmet needs of uh, family planning next is home delivery of contraception this i think topic point has been the most hyped point let me just put a small star mark over here this could be your prospective mcq home delivery of contraception by asha workers so the home delivery of contraception by asha workers they can give either the nirodh condoms or the mala d tablets these are 28 pills these both will be given at the rate of rupees 1 nirodh condom will be 3 pieces and mala d 28 pills at the rate of rupees 1 apart from that home delivery by asha can also be in terms of the emergency contraception the emergency contraception the pill that we use is same answer easy pill easy pill but this is given at the rate of rupees 
per tablet and it will be a single tablet 1.5 milligrams to be taken within 72 hours of unprotected intercourse. Apart from that, ASHAs to ensure spacing of birth. Now, this is an important point. Again, again, a star mark over, over here. This could be a prospective MCQ. What do you mean by spacing of birth? Spacing of birth can be of different types like ASHAs are begun, being given some incentives. So, this is currently being given in 18 states and one union territory. You don't need to remember which states and which union territory. It's Dadar Nagar Haveli and some 18 states are there. But the point for you to understand is I am not trying to generate any controversy. I am trying to solve the controversy that in those 18 states, this payment given to ASHA is over and above what ASHA worker will get as compensation under the NRHM or the National Rural Health Mission or the National Health Mission Scheme. So this is over and above the regular compensation. So for in case there are three situations in which the ASHA is being compensated. First situation is if there is a delay of birth of first child till two years after marriage. Till two years after marriage delay of birth child that means at least the female should be minimum 20 years of age minimum 20 years of age and there should be a delay of two years after marriage delay of the birth of first child in that case the asha worker will get rupees 500 in case there is a spacing of children in case there is spacing of children between first and second child of more than three years minimum three years again the asha worker will get a payment of rupees 500. Apart from that, if the couple opts for sterilization, that is permanent mode of sterilization, that is tubectomy or vasectomy, after their first child or second child, in those cases, the uh, ASHA worker will get rupees 1000 as compensation scheme. Please remember, all these schemes are over and above the regular NRHM schemes. And under these schemes, this is under the Mission Parivar Vikas. This is extra bonus paid to ASHA workers in the states which have uh, higher fertility rates, high TFRs. Apart from this, we have the regular pregnancy testing kits. Which is What is the name of regular uh, pregnancy testing kits given under Government of India scheme? Please tell me. Please say with me. Answer is Nishche scheme. Nishche pregnancy tests are available. And these are under Government of India. These are available right now at the sub center level. Then is Family Planning Logistic Management and Information System that is a Family Planning LMIS. So it is nothing very special, very small thing that it is digitalization of all the records. And uh, there is now uh, a management and information system in which all the females who are under Mission Parivar because they will be registered and even they will get some added benefits, lateral benefits like. Iron folic acids under the anemia mukta bharat, they will get some voluntary training, they will get vocational courses and many other things like these. Then is national family planning indemnity scheme. Indemnity scheme is nothing very big. It is insurance given to uh, recipients or acceptors of the permanent modes of sterilization in case there is failure of contraception, in case there is fatality or death or casualty due to contraception or its related procedure. In those cases, it is kind of an insurance scheme. It is kind of an insurance scheme that is National Family Planning Indemnity Scheme. To know more on this, I have had a talk on this in much in detail in the Maro PG uh, application in Community Medicine Lectures. So you can uh, watch those modules for more information on National Family Planning Indemnity Scheme. Quality Assurance Committees have been set up under this Mission Parivar because RMNCH plus A counselors are there and 360 media campaign we already have talked. So these are your hardcore pure 14 points which have been upgraded, updated under this national family planning program and under the Mission Parivar Vikas. Last point to reiterate, please remember time of initiating contraception has been a very frequently asked question. What contraception you can give right now immediately or when to do? Post-abortion female sterilization, 
it can be done within seven hours seven days of abortion please remember so it is done along with the abortion procedure or can be done up till seven days of abortion that is female sterilization that is tubectomy or mini lab procedures post abortion iucd can be inserted within 12 days of the abortion but in case after delivery if you are talking it can be inserted as early as within 24 hours or if not within 24 hours it should be delayed and inserted PPIUCD should be inserted after six weeks but in case of abortion so within 12 days of abortion IUCD can be inserted other other contraceptions like oral contraceptive pills progesterone only pills centroman injectables condoms they can be started immediately after contraception and of course vasectomy can be done anytime so with that i'd like to thank you so much for listening to this uh, webinar session and all the complete community medicine lectures are available of course on the maro pg mobile application do visit us live in action we are available on facebook telegram and youtube as a special channel you can just uh, search for mukmohit on uh, these uh, social media platforms or you can visit my website www.mukmohit.com thank you so much have a nice day bye bye Thank you.